We're all in search of purpose, trying to find out who we are. It's a quest as old as Adam, it really does go back that far. In Genesis 1, humans are created, God tells them their rightful place. Let's make man in our own image, worshippers seeking God's face. But it only took two chapters for everything to be undone. God's own people have fallen short, it looks like Satan's won. One short exchange with God's great enemy, humanity has sold a lie. You're not made to be God's image bearer, do whatever will satisfy. It's 2019, years have passed, but Eden's curse can still be seen. The lie has been rebranded, but its consequence just as keen. What is my purpose and who am I created to be? Satan offers many suggestions. Look around, you'll soon see. Academic success, that's the one. Surely purpose can be found there. Top of the class, a great education. Nothing else can compare. I work my socks off day and night to finish top of my class. The best of marks, the best degree, I'll excel, not merely pass. Education doesn't cut it though, in spite of your greatest resolve. Truth be told is that in this world there are some problems brains can't solve. Back to the drawing board it is then, to find purpose and fulfilment. What else does the world offer? Let's try hallways and sporting achievement. I can see it now, with millions watching, my name up in lights. So I'll play all day, practice for hours, early mornings and even late nights. Two reasons, however, I discovered that achievements don't bring ultimate joy. At first I thought it worked, but it proved to be a futile ploy. Firstly, when it comes to skill, someone will always be better. No matter how hard I work, there's always a new bar setter. Secondly though, even if you make it to the top, the very best will all admit, it's not as good as they thought or anything like what they dreamed. The promised God was a counterfeit. The last pursuit this world can offer in our pursuit of meaning is perhaps the most frequent of all and perhaps the most demeaning. The pursuit of purpose in this world is apparently hard to find. So let's immerse ourselves in a fake world, leave the real one behind. We can scroll and like and post and snap until our heart's content, but deep down we know this virtual world isn't really time well spent. But the buzz of the likes, the hit of views, and the friends in my fake reality quite often feed the darkness of my own heart, its sugar-coated vanity. Who are my friends? Who truly follows me? It's really not easy to tell. I can create a facade that everything's great, but deep down, I know all's not well. What is my purpose, and who am I created to be? According to the world, it's a self-absorbed existence, centering everything around me. The echo of Eden rings true throughout every generation. Whatever purpose I try and find in life ends up in devastation. However, though the world will say that in this life your identity is achieved, Scripture says the opposite is true, through Christ it is received. But what is this identity that God has assigned to you? The Apostle Peter tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2. You're a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a people belonging to God. This is who you are, Christian. Anything else is merely a fraud. Don't be weighed down by the world's message of unrealistic expectation. Trust the finished work of Christ, in Him you're a new creation. However, this identity that God has given to us isn't some abstract notion. Peter goes on to tell us how we can put this new identity into motion. What is our purpose? How do you live right? By proclaiming the praises of Him who called you into wonderful light. In summer 2019, you have the opportunity to obey this command, to pursue your purpose of proclaiming God's praise to people in our land. We pray expectantly that God will work as we speak his gospel truth. Will you be part of summer 2019 by serving with Baptist Youth? Oh,